Welcome to One Minute. Wait, hold up. That's the wrong introduction. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a little throwback here. Going back from 2009 Gaming Palooza, we have the Commodore 64 introduction from 2009. Look at that. That is awesome. Alright, so we're playing uh, some type of a game called Jack the Nipper 2. Never played this before. Uh, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. This is the title screen. And uh, I guess that's our main character right there. Looks almost like a, the health. Some type of a... It's like a baby with glasses. What the hell is that? We'll see that the uh, the graphics on here are pretty cool. Oh, what the hell? You see there that you're uh, traveling through a cave, so you have to hold up a a match or a letter, one or the other. Uh, either way, uh, a baby does not belong having a match or a letter. For some reason. This kid has fire. Very, very cool music. What the hell is that? Never even heard of this game. This game is really weird. It's pretty interesting. Platformers doesn't appear to be bad. The graphics are uh, quite unique. I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing in the game. Commodore 64 games were uh, not really that popular in the United States. It was uh, mostly DOS PC games, possibly one of one of the more decent platformers on uh, Commodore 64. I personally don't know where the hell I'm going in this platformer. It's a little weird. The, the whole character design's weird. There's this uh, enemy right here, as you can see there. That one you, you actually can't kill. That. So this game is a freaking nightmare. As you can see, you have a pig right there with glasses. It's walking around. Or is that a dog? I'm not sure, but as you can see, it just killed me. I played it for about maybe 10 minutes, the game itself. Uh, it's pretty decent graphics. The sound effects are pretty cool. The character designs are just bizarre. I probably wouldn't play the game again, to be honest. So I'm going to probably have to say recommend this game maybe to you if you have a Commodore 64 and you want to play a platformer. Uh, it's a very, very interesting game. The, the difficulty in the game appears to be kind of like your average platformers from back then. It, you know, some platformers were just really, really hard. This one's no different. I really don't have no desire playing this game, though. This game is a pain in the ass. So if the, uh, the second Jack the Nipper game was a uh, big pain in the ass, let's check out the first one. Uh, I guess this is the original one that came out, uh, I guess back in 1986, as it says there on the uh, title screen. Uh, let's see what this is. What the hell is that? So. Once again, a little baby character. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell I'm getting myself into in this game. What the hell is this? Yes, yeah, so we have a jump button right here. You jump on the furniture. So what? I'm not sure what the point of this game is, but... As you can see here, we have... Uh, a lot of characters turn around the screen at once. We have a bunch of ghosts one running around the house. We have uh, some type of a woman right there. I'm assuming that might be his mother. This game is just really bizarre. Kind of creepy. Let me see if we have a... What looks like... Possibly a police officer running around the house. And a ghost and a dog. Kind of strange. 
Uh, forgive me, I never played this game before, so I'm not sure if there's a, a certain button that I'm supposed to push to uh, do something, but as far as I know, there's only one button that works with this game. I'm not sure what the hell you're supposed to do in this game besides... Maybe you're supposed to jump over here and... Yeah, I don't know what the hell to do. I pretty much jumped everywhere I possibly can. Maybe there's some weird way of doing things, but... I have no idea what the objective is in this. I probably don't recommend playing this game. This not only is it creepy, but it's just a annoying ass game. The sound effects are annoying. Oh, I, you can definitely get better on the uh, Commodore 64. This is definitely not the greatest game in the world. <laughs>